Hey cats and kittens, it's Antar, and I'm back with a new battle against Silhana 6. Uh, we've had a battle in the past, um, but she had a new team, and um, I said, all right, let's bring it. I've got some new uh, breeds on my team as well. Um, so anyway, uh, note the level 60, that's because she breeds like a champ, and I wanted to meet her halfway, didn't want her to have to get all the way up to level 100, so we're all doing this at level 60. Um, so anyway, I lead off with my Uchikoma rather than my Rosary because I was predicting that Mind Shao lead. Gonna go for the agility after the um, useless fake out, um, which probably did more to him than to me, although he does have the regenerator and whatnot. So anyway, he sends out his Mel Tank, which is taking my um, meter matches like a champ, goes ahead and sets up Stealth Rocks, and I'm just hoping for the meter mash to raise my uh, attack, which would make this really awesome, but it's not happening so far. Um, two body, uh, he's gotten off a body slam, and I'm like, oh god, what if he paralyzes me? That will ruin my life. Um, but I do manage to take him out with a third um, meteor mash, so that's excellent. He goes ahead and sets out Grumpig. Had no idea what this guy was doing. I uh, went for another um, meteor mash, and he goes ahead and sets up the reflect. I'm like, oh! Okay, that's actually a pretty good strategy. Anyway, gonna take him out on the next turn. Um, Reflecting ain't gonna do that grump pick any good. And now he sends out his Lel again, so I'm like, well, shoot. I go ahead and um, Ice Punch does less than half. He goes for the Sleep Powder, and so Uchikoma is Sleep Fodder. Sad Pandas and whatnot, but it needed to be done, and I couldn't let that thing get off a Quiver Dance on... Um, whatever. Anyway, go ahead and send out Leela here. Um, he's gonna go ahead and go for the Quiver... She's gonna go ahead and go for the Quiver Dance. Um, get up uh, attack, spadef, and speed. Um, and I believe, even though this is, this is a new breed and it's Jolly, I'm pretty sure, yep, uh, outspeeds me after a plus one. Um, so anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Flare Blitz here because um, Lilligant got greedy. Uh, so Hannah, you should not have gone for that second Quiver Dance. IMO, but anyway, I, it costs, and, um, yeah, so anyway, uh, goes for the Protect just to see what I'm gonna do. I uh, go for the Superpower here, although that's actually a fairly bad move, I think, um, thanks, thanks to Sheer Force, I'm pretty sure, um, Flare Blitz might actually do more, and it's not gonna get the, um, stat drops. Anyway, Rockstar does nothing, and I'd forgotten that there was a Reflect Up, which is why it did nothing. Anyway, it gets off a Curse, and I'm like, oh no, this is just gonna be awful. Uh, so I see that it's a Cursing set, um, and I'm thinking, oh, he's, uh, and I see the wish, and I'm thinking, man, this guy's, uh, Sohana 6 is using my own Umbreon against me, because I recently changed out, um, whatchamacallit, Moonlight for Wish. Um, I go ahead and send out Pazuzu here, um, I'll explain why in a second. Uh, so I figure that it's bulky on the defensive side, but not maybe not so much on the specially defensive side. Um, so anyway, I go ahead and go for the Thunderbolt here, hoping that it's going to do some damage. Does not. Uh, this is almost certainly my exact set, sassy nature, um, or maybe not sassy nature, but um, plus special defense, lots of investment in special defense. Um, probably max uh, HP for maximum wishes. Anyway, yeah. So, gonna keep on getting those curses up, and it's just gonna do more and more and more, um, and my attacks aren't really doing anything, and I'm just like, how am I gonna kill this guy? Um, this is just not gonna go well. I'm being walled by my own Umbreon. Anyway, I go for the Heat Wave here, um, figuring that, uh, you know, I know that Umbreon has synchronized, so T-Bolt is actually probably not a good idea because I don't want Pazuzu to be paralyzed, but I do want this guy to be burned, and I'm not going to particularly mind the burn. So, um, I get a crit here, uh, that's two heat waves so far with no, um, burn hacks, and I'm like, come on, please give me some burn hacks, baby, because this guy is going to kill my entire team if I let it. Um, so I'm just going to keep on going for the heat waves, and just hoping and praying that one of these heat waves gets the burn hacks, and I get it, and I'm like, yes! And I'm like, I don't care! that Pazuzu is, para uh, is burned. I'm going to switch out right now, and I'm not going to fear anything from this Umbreon anymore because it's burned. I mean, granted, it's like a plus six by now with all those curses. Um, so, but, you know, plus six is only 400%. Um, halved by burn is only 200%. No idea why I switched an El Kabong here. That was a stupid play. I think I, went, uh, I was trying to put it to sleep. I'm like, but I just spent all that time burning it. Why would I try to put it to sleep? So that was a stupid move on my part. Um, but so anyway, I figure I can take this payback, um, but I can't. And I'm like, oh man, that's kind of awful. Uh, I actually need to check that. I think it might have been a case of min-max damage. Uh, to kind of a large extreme, but anyway, gonna go ahead and send on my own Umbreon here, figuring, hey, maybe I can wall him, plus, use Umbreon, uh, use my mech for what he was meant to do, heal B Bell Cleric, um, I've recovered two of my Pokemon statuses, and even if Mick gets KO'd right now, 
it will still have done work in this battle. So now I'm going to go ahead and start cursing. Um, just get my uh, attack and defense stats high. Uh, and so these paybacks are going to do nothing thanks to the fact that um, he's burned. So that's kind of that's kind of awesome for me. Um, he's going to go ahead and with uh, she's going to go ahead and withdraw Umbreon at this point. Going to go ahead and send a mind shout, but I think I'm at plus two right now. Um, and Mick is, you know, decently bulky, so I'm thinking I can survive a high jump kick. And so here it comes, and I'm hoping, and yes, I survived with 42 HP. That is pro. That is pro. Anyway, I go ahead and get off a wish, and I'm going to go ahead and switch out to Ringo, predicting the second high jump kick. Um, but unfortunately, uh, she predicts that, goes for the U-turn, uh, gonna, and I get the useless cursed body hacks. Uh, I actually really like having cursed body on Ringo. This is a rebreed. I could have gone for water absorb, but I really like the fact that, um, cursed, uh, you know, it resists water type anyways. I've got, uh, recovers for the uh, health recovery. Um, cursed body is kind of an awesome ability, even if it is a little hacksy. Anyway, I go ahead and taunt Umbreon. Totally awesome. Uh, now that thing's not going to be able to curse, wish, anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Surf, um, because I'm thinking the Payback really might not do too much. And indeed, I can take that, uh, I can take those hits all day, um, thanks to the fact that I've got recovery. I mean, maybe if, uh, crits against me, but, um, you know, attack, ha attack stats only at 50%. Um, and, uh, thanks to the, and she, and Umbreon can't get any curses up. So this is a really, really awesome situation for me. Um, uh, so yeah, gonna go ahead and keep on surfing, just hoping to kill this thing. Taunt wears off, I'm gonna go ahead and taunt again, uh, and so my opponent correctly predicts that this is a time for a great free switch. Switches in Miss Magius, which, you know, taunt is useless. I figured, you know, that might have been a possibility, but I really didn't want that Umbreon cursing or wishing on me. So I go ahead and send out Mick at this point, uh, thinking that I can hopefully wall some attacks, but, you know, at 13 HP it's not gonna take anything. Mick. Unfortunately, I had to sacrifice him for Death Fodder, and I'm hoping that I outspeed. I'm hoping this is a modest nature, not a timid nature. Unfortunately, it's not. Um, Miss Magius outspeeds my Leela and takes it out, and um, that sucks. Gonna go ahead and send out Pazuzu at this point, um, just hoping that I can take a hit from Miss Magius. Go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the uh, Thunderbolt. Um, uh, Shadow Ball hits me, gets the Spadef drop. I wish I had paid attention because that Spadef drop is gonna have mattered here. Um, I'm down to 63 HP. I'm gonna get some HP back with leftovers. Um, but another Shadow Ball is definitely gonna kill me. I don't know why I didn't switch into something that might have been able to take it. Oh, I know why, because no one can take it. Um, I really needed the free switch. I'm gonna go ahead and send out Uchikoma at this point, and, um, even though the substitute was, you know, a distinct possibility, I figured agility is a better move, gonna outspeed, it's gonna be awesome, uh, and it turned out to be a better move, more than I could have hoped. I go for the Meteor Mash here, I'm gonna break the sub, quite obviously, um, and luckily, uh, Solana 6 decided to take the turn to use Nasty Plot, and I'm like, yes, this is excellent, because now I'm faster, I'm gonna be able to go ahead and use Ice Punch. Uh, Miss Magius is really frail on the, on the physical side, so I, I'm able to get it uh, taken out. Uh, uh, my opponent sends out Mind Shao, I'm gonna go ahead and Earthquake, because I am faster. Uh, goes for the high jump kick, but I survive with 24 HP, which is badass. Um, now Umbreon comes out, but at its low HP, it's essentially death fodder. Um, Silhana 6 probably just wanted to get a more uh, regenerator recovery. Um, gonna go ahead and go for the fake out. Does absolutely nothing, thanks to the fact that I resisted. I survived with 10 HP, and so the next turn I'm just gonna KO with Earthquake, and that is gonna be good game. So great game, Silhana 6. I think it's really funny that you used my own Umbreon against me. I love that battle. Um, hope you folks in the audience did too. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.